Hi, dear friend. I want to talk today about one of the biggies of spirituality, and that is judging others. Oh, that's tough, I know. So many times we immediately form opinions in the negative of other people. It can take seconds to do this, and those opinions, sadly, can last a lifetime. It has been said you have no idea how big the other fellow's problems are. And therefore, when we look at a person, we cannot size them up because we don't know the totality of their problems that they're carrying on their shoulders that is causing them to react in the way they're reacting. In Matthew 7... Verse 1 and verse 2, it says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Well, we have all, each one of us, me, you, we've fallen short of God's standard. But God loves us completely. So we must do the same if we're going to follow in our spirituality. We must forgive others, even when they do not live up to our own expectations. But even beyond forgiving, we must refrain from judging others in the first place. And that's where it gets tough. That's where you have to become a master of your spirituality. It is so easy for us to judge others. We, we think that it's a protection mechanism. I'll put you in this box. I'll put you in this box. I'll put you in this box over here. And it helps, or so we say to ourselves, our mind categorize people, places, and things. But God needs our help as spiritual people to take people out of the boxes we have placed them in and treat them equally with love. God has an ability of perfecting the human heart. And God has the ability of broadcasting that from us to perfect the other person's heart also, to change. See, that's the way you really change another, is by loving them. Sometimes it can take an hour, sometimes a day, sometimes, in truth, a lifetime. But it does make a difference. But it changes us instantly. And this body inside of here is where you live. To judge others is to invite fearful consequences. To the extent that we judge others, we will have the cause and effect happen in our lives and more people will judge us. Let us refrain then in our spirituality from judging others. Instead, let us forgive them and love them in the same way that God loves us.